Hey there, hobby farmers. I'm Steve. And I'm Brian. And together, we're the Hobby Farm Guys. Hey, what about me? Just saving the best for last. We'd never forget to give a shout out to our friend Eric, who's joining us behind the scenes. Today, we take a look at chicken nutrition. The six nutrients your chickens absolutely need. Why each is important and where to find them. Stick around to get a whole lot smarter about chicken nutrition. More and more, we see people searching for alternatives to traditional chicken feed. Whether it's a desire to avoid certain ingredients or simply an attempt to tame that climbing feed bill, lots of people are on the lookout for options. And well, the internet is pretty full of options. Mm -hmm. Some of them pretty good and some of them downright dangerous. Lots and lots of claims, but what to believe. Today, we'll examine chicken nutrition. What it is that chickens actually need nutritionally to grow, lay, and remain healthy. Now let's start by defining nutrition. We often hear words like nutrient, nutrition, or nutritious, but what do those words really mean? Without going too deep, we'll say that nutrients are chemical compounds in food that are used by the body to function properly and maintain health. Nutritious foods, then, are foods that are rich in these necessary nutrients. And there's six major nutrients. Water, carbohydrates, lipids or fats, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Each plays a unique and important role in how your chicken's body functions. For chickens, or any animal for that matter, there are specific chemical compounds that must be in their diet in the right amounts for them to carry on necessary life functions and grow and produce eggs and meat. We'll state right off that there's no perfect food or no one ingredient that contains every nutrient your chicken needs in the exact concentrations they need it. Providing the right nutrition for your chickens means ensuring that what they eat supplies all the essential amino acids, fatty acids, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and water that they're gonna need. And we'll begin our nutrient discussion with water. Seems intuitive to provide your chickens with water, but water plays an essential role beyond hydration. Water is required for every biological function. Most poultry feed contains about 10% moisture. Chicken meat is 65 to 70% moisture, and eggs are over 75% moisture. So it's obvious that additional water needs to be provided. Your chickens should have plenty of access to cool, clean water. Remember, feed intake is directly tied to water intake, and birds won't eat if they can't drink. Now let's get all sciencey. So some guy named Einstein, he came up with some equation about matter and energy, right? Brian, you matter. Oh, uh, unless I multiply you by the speed of light squared, then you energy. Um, and energy is important. Without it, life doesn't exist. Without calories to fuel the chemical reactions taking place, the individual building blocks like vitamins, minerals, amino acids and such, well, they no longer matter. Calories are key, and they come from three major nutrient classes, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Now, dietary carbohydrates, which are simply compounds made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, come in many forms. They can come singly as glucose or fructose, in pairs like sucrose or lactose, or they can come in even larger forms like plant starch or cellulose. Used as a quick source of energy, carbohydrates are required fuel source in all cells. They also constitute the biggest component of a poultry diet. Cereal grains like corn, wheat, sorghum, barley, rye, and millet all include digestible carbohydrates like sugars and starches, as well as other non-digestible carbs such as cellulose, which are often listed as crude fiber on the feed label. Fats are another essential nutrient and are composed of smaller compounds called fatty acids, which are responsible for cell membrane integrity and hormone synthesis. Fats also aid in the absorption of important fat-soluble vitamins like vitamins A, D, E, and K, as well as improving palatability and reducing grain dust. Although there are many different fatty acids, one, lineoleic acid, or omega-6, is considered an essential fatty acid for chickens. Poultry can't produce it on their own, and so it must be included in their diet. Keep in mind, fats, including those incorporated in the feed, well, they tend to go bad or become rancid. So commercial feeds often add antioxidants to combat this, but if you're producing your own feed, you're going to need to come up with a solution. Next up is protein. Proteins are large molecules that are built by arranging different amino acids. 
The dietary requirements for protein are requirements for the amino acids that make up the protein. Poultry use these amino acids to fulfill a number of functions, including using them to make up the bulk of their structural and protective tissues, such as skin, feathers, bones, and ligaments. Amino acids also help form the soft tissues, including the organs and muscles, as well as playing an important role in metabolizing feed into energy. Chickens can make many of these amino acids from other compounds, but some, referred to as essential amino acids, must be present in the proteins of their feed ingredients. So no single ingredient has all the necessary amino acids in the right amounts for chickens. So in commercial feeds, a mix of ingredients like corn and soybeans is used to reach a good balance for the necessary amino acids. If you're trying to avoid corn or soy, you'll need to do some research to identify alternative protein sources containing an appropriate mix of amino acids. For poultry, methoionine and lysine are the two most critical amino acids. You can find purified crystalline sources of important amino acids available for use in animal feeds, which allows you to bring deficient amino acids into the proper range without overfeeding other nutrients. And failure to provide adequate protein in your bird's diet will result in several structural and health problems for your flock, as well as reducing yield of meat and eggs. It's important to remember that poultry protein and amino acid requirements can vary considerably depending on the rate of growth or level of egg production of the individual bird. In general, protein and amino acid percentages are some of the trickier nutritional balances to get right for poultry production. So it's best to fully research the breed you're working with and tailor your feed specifically to their needs. All the chemical reactions needed for your chicken to take carbohydrates, fats, and proteins and use them to sustain life requires a group of chemicals called vitamins. Some are fat soluble, vitamin A, necessary for proper vision and reproductive health, vitamin D, used in bone formation and calcium metabolism, vitamin E, a biological antioxidant, and vitamin K, required for proper blood clotting are examples of these fat soluble vitamins. The B complex vitamins, which are water soluble, are involved in all the body's energy metabolism reactions. Vitamin C, which chickens can produce up, uh, all by themselves, helps the immune system in uh, metabolic stress. These vitamins are naturally found in feed ingredients. However, no one ingredient, again, has the perfect blend of all the vitamins. And vitamin levels and ingredients can vary from one batch to another. As such, the chicken's full requirement is typically met by including a vitamin premix in the diet, similar to a human taking a multivitamin every morning. Yeah, and the sixth essential nutrient is minerals. Minerals are used by the chicken for multiple purposes. Calcium, phosphorus, and magnesium are used in bone formation. Sodium, potassium, and chlorine are needed for electrolyte balance in these cells, and zinc, manganese, iron, copper, selenium, and iodine are all utilized in trace amounts for chemical reactions. Grains are generally low in essential minerals, so supplementing the diet is necessary for optimal performance. Calcium, phosphorus, and salt are the primary minerals needed in the highest amount. Calcium can be provided by limestone, oyster shell, or bone meal, and is especially important for eggshell formation in laying hens. Phosphorus is common in plants for free-ranging flocks, but most of the phosphorus in plants comes in a form called phytate, which chickens can't use. So an inorganic source such as dicalcium phosphate or bone meal may be required. So those are the six essential nutrients chickens need in their diet. Keep in mind, your flock's dietary needs it can change throughout the year. A flock with access to free range can locate additional sources of calories and nutrients, and you may feed less when the range is green. But when it gets cold, birds are going to eat more as an energy source to keep warm. Understanding what your birds require for proper nutrition is the first step in designing and providing a diet that meets those needs. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned something to help you be a better chicken keeper. If you did, we'd appreciate a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching, and a special thanks to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. It really helps us out. Until next time, happy hobby farming. Bye, everyone.